Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how we can bind um, groups of inputs together using checkboxes and how we can bind uh, radio dials, like input radio dials, so that we can select one input out of many. So let me actually uh, demonstrate this and let's just get started with it. So what I'm gonna do down here is I'm gonna create a label and we don't really need the for attribute and I'm gonna create an input box inside of here. Uh, the type is going to be check box and we're going to give it a value of let's say typescript right so we're going to act like this is some sort of form and we want the users to be able to um like select this box and it'll show up down here as their favorite languages so how do we do that right so we have the value um right here but we need to somehow bind it to this favorites array. And you may have already tried doing something like this, where you do binds, and then you do value, right? And then you would pass in favorites or something. So you may have already tried this and you get attributes need to be unique. And you're like, hmm, okay. Well, it's because what you do is you actually do binds of a group. So there's group binding in Svelte, which allows you to do this. So when I click this button, you'll see it shows up down here. And when I uncheck it, it goes away. And that's because when we click this button, Svelte will automatically check if the value right here, um, TypeScript, is in this array. If it's not, it'll add it. And when, when it adds it, vice versa, it appears here. So um, yeah, now let's say we wanted to have all of these you know, elements. We wanna have a Java one, so let's say this is Java. We'll have our TypeScript. We'll have C++. We'll have Rust. And no, C++. And I'm only going to do one more because this is already getting really, really messy, isn't it? Like, this is so messy and hard to read. And we only have a couple little checkboxes, right? So how can we use things we've learned in previous episodes to select them and say we have a hundred elements. We don't want to have like, what is your favorite state or like something like that, you know? How can we do that? Well, what we can actually do is use uh, an each box. So we can do each, uh, each, and then we're gonna do languages because these are all languages as a language, we're gonna call it. And then we're gonna end our each block down here. So inside of here, I spelled languages wrong. There we go. So each language as a language, what we're going to do is we're going to display a custom label. So just like before, we have a label in here. I'm going to pass in the language. So right there, we have a language. See? And what we want to do is pass in an input. And this is going to be of type checkbox. The value is going to be the language. And what we're going to do is we're going to do our binds group and we're going to do favorites so just like before uh, this is going to do exactly as we'd expect we can click one two three whatever and they'll all update just like that but um we, we're not writing you know a whole bunch of different uh, languages now let's say we only want to be able to select one so instead of selected we want to have it be like what is our favorite favorites favorite language right and instead of favorites we'll just we'll just call it favorite right and instead of a string array it'll just be a string so how do we do this now well all we have to do is if we change the binds to group what you'll see that'll happen is right we'll click on it and we'll get rust go python so it's it's not really changing even though it's still a string what we actually have to do is change the type of checkbox to be of type radio. And when you change it to a type of radio, um, you can only have one element selected at a time. So if we select TypeScript and it's currently selected, nothing happens. If we select C++, but another language is selected, it'll remove the other one and then add this one. So that is a very, very brief, but um, good use case of radio boxes versus check boxes with Svelte. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.